Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have a haul which I'm really looking forward to sharing with you. I'm back with a massive quiz selection. So I've got a rail here. I've also got a big pile of new in shoes. I absolutely love quiz clothing shoes. I think they're the best quality. So if you like what you see on this rail so far, keep watching, subscribe if you're new, like this video and let's get straight into the haul. So I thought I would put together some of my favourite pieces that I've seen new in for quiz and actually compile and make stylistic looks for you guys. So I'm not just giving you um, clothing inspo, I'm actually giving you tips on how to style it and wear it. So I've got stuff on the rail that pairs together, I've got shoes to go with it, I've got accessories guys. This is where your style game is going to completely change. I feel like a lot of these pieces can be mixed and matched and work together. So the first outfit that I have is very out there. It would definitely be something that I would wear on a night out or drinks with friends, but because we're at home, I feel like it's just gonna be one of those pieces that you just style up for yourself. For me, I like to pose for the gram. I like to um, shoot some home content and just wear some nice pieces anyway. So it can really boost your mood actually. So the first look that I have is a little bit bougie, a little bit dressy. It's definitely something that I would like to be wearing in a bar or club, but we don't really have that option right now. So I've just picked it out because I just really miss fun clothing. I can just picture going out on a cute little date with my friends to a bar, having a few drinks and a few cocktails, a little bit of a dance. And I feel like this outfit would just be spot on. So the first thing that I have here is this beautiful um, bodysuit, which I absolutely love. It's got corset detailing. It's strapless. I've just literally just used the um, little additional fabric tabs just to hang this up and make it look a little bit slicker. But I absolutely love um, the feel of this. It feels really high quality. It's got this like bone structure to it. It's got a zip at the back there, so easy access to get in and out, girls. We are not like stretching anything out. We are not shimmying too hard to get into these pieces. I feel like this is going to be both supportive and easy to get into. So what I really love about this item is its versatility. I'm hoping, because I don't actually own a bodysuit like this, that it's going to be a really nice jeans and a nice top um, item, which I can pair under things as well, like a blazer dress. You you know when you have a bit of a blazer dress situation where there's a little bit of bra poking through, if you have a bodysuit underneath, I feel like it just solves that issue and it looks like part of the style. So something like this is going to be really nice to have in my wardrobe as a basic item. But um, I believe it's the Quiz Joanna range. I cannot for the life of me pronounce her last name, um, but she was on Love Island. So if you head to the link below, you'll be able to see exactly who I'm talking about. I am so bad with names. I'm going to be styling it up with these trousers, which were giving me serious Christina Aguilera vibes. They are um, wide leg, flare bottom. They're kind of actually cinched in towards the knee. So you're going to get curves here, girls. Like if you're like me and you have quite a straight athletic figure and um, maybe even like a small figure on the bottom. So like a triangle shape. This is gonna be the best option for you because it's gonna create a bum and it's also going to create shape towards the bottom of the leg. So all my short girls, again, a really good vibe for you. It's going to make you look so proportionate and just well balanced. I really like the idea of pairing these two together. I think it's giving me like a major dirty Christina Aguilera vibe. So that was the intention behind this look. I just love the leather feel, like it's that nice, um, I don't know how to put it. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna put my teeth on edge. Like it's a comfortable leather. I'm not gonna sweat in it, um, but we shall see. I'm gonna try this on, pair these two together. You guys are gonna see a cutaway clip in a second. Who knows, fingers crossed, hopefully I look a vibe in this and I'm gonna pair it with some shoes as well. So this is what the outfit looks like on. I absolutely love it. I think it's such a vibe. I cannot wait to go out in this. So I've got the bodysuit on here, which I have to say, the cups are slightly small for my size, unfortunately. Um, but that I feel like you guys could probably maneuver around that. Um, it's never really been a massive issue. Like it's not exactly the most flattering. Like my boob is actually down there. Um, but I think if you were to get boob tape or something, it would work quite well. So 
just bear that in mind in terms of sizing um i picked out a size 10 and the cups were still fairly small so um i'm a 34d so if that gives anybody um a bit of an understanding as to sizing then i really hope that helps but other than that i think it is still doable because it's black i've then got the leather trousers on which can i just say are so comfortable cannot wait to wear these out so i've just kept it really simple and very monochromatic i've got the black um crocodile boots going on there this is such a vibe guys can you imagine showing up to a bar in this outfit like really simple jewelry on the neck here i've got two pieces all my jewelry guys i will be sure to link below i need to start doing that more because i wear the same things over and over so um you guys will probably get quite familiar with the jewelry pieces that i pick out and rotate but overall i've kept it very simple and this would be how i would style it up for going out i really really love this so much because we are going on so many country walks like i literally go on one at least once a day um i try and get a bit of outdoor exercise in I think it's so important that we kind of dress up and use this opportunity to have fun with our fashion obviously stay warm because at the moment it is arctic outside it's freezing cold but um i kind of picked this outfit as a nice cute look to wear on a walk so this is what i've got i've also paired it with a bag just to show you how i would um style it up outside of like the country walk style but what i've got here is this really cute um clutch bag i absolutely swear by this style i already have a bag like this but crocodile print from i saw it first and it's my most used bag so i thought i'd go for a matte black one with gold hardware this is going to be well used so slick so cute and then i decided that i wanted to pick out a nude um more brown tonal bodysuit that was just going to pair with absolutely everything that i have I really like the fact that this has additional um, chain detailing going on, which you can remove. So if you aren't vibing it, if you want to put your own accessories on top as well, you can do so. I just really like the rib detailing and um, the idea that it's just going to be something comfortable to pair and like tuck into some nice trousers. So, so far we've got the bag, we've got the bodysuit, and then to bring it all together, I have decided to pick out these cream looking um or sort of nude toned trousers so if we're kind of pairing the look together we've got um a nice tonal look going on with the pop of black from the bag so i think it really works very very well i'm just going to style that up there for a second um what i like about the trousers is it's that kind of like leather look feel so i think they're coated they're called coated trousers aren't they where they've got this kind of like um sheen to them they're a bit more on the matte side, but they're definitely coated. So if you don't really vibe with that feel, maybe not for you. But I am going to try this on and let you guys know how it feels, how it looks on um, comfort levels. Because again, if you're doing a country walk, my ladies, you want to be comfy as well. You want to look cute, but you want to be comfy. So I feel like this would be such a nice, cute little look with a pair of trainers and like a really nice oversized coat or maybe even one of these coats that I've got here in this haul. Um, it's just a vibe, guys. I'm trying to keep everything tonal, making sure that everything works with what I already own and the colour palette is, you know, stabilised um, if we're going to put it into a certain term. I want to stabilise my wardrobe. I want to make sure I'm creating looks that work cohesively with each other, that I can mix and match. I'm not overdoing it with things that aren't going to work and I'll just wear once and go, oh my gosh, I can't wear that again. So this is going to be a really nice little look. Let's try it on. Let's see how it looks. Um, and I want your honest opinions, guys. What do you think? Okay, guys, this is the next look on. I am in complete obsession with this look. I actually think this has blown me away more so than any of the other pieces so far. I was just not expecting this look to be so comfortable, so easy to wear. Like, normally I have a real problem with coated trousers, so I was a little bit sceptical, but I can reassure you right now, these are the comfiest things I've ever put on in my life. They are giving me like proper girl boss vibes. I just really, really like them. I've never owned anything like this before. They're a real hybrid, you know. They look like jeans, but they feel like leggings. So um, I know the jegging was a big thing like 10 years ago, but they have upped their game a lot since then. Um, the bodysuit is really, really cute. I wasn't expecting 
the gold hardware to go so well with my necklaces so it is a really cute little piece the fact that it kind of plunges down as well it gives you a bit of something to play with i love that the bag works so perfectly this outfit is the official like comfy but also very classy look for going out to dinner and seeing friends i just really hope we get to do that this year like i'm absolutely desperate um but i just love it so much this piece is amazing so to keep the whole vibe tied together looking really slick and classy i have just paired um this look with my new pointed shoe do you know what i mean when i say um just a really simple less is more shoe this is just so bougie and very kim k inspired i must say i love them i think they're so comfortable this look is amazing a 10 out of 10 it probably is going to be like my new favorite go-to look like i feel very classy in this so um, absolutely love every single piece in this look. So I really feel like this haul is 50 shades of nude, but I'm not even ashamed of it. I think nude and um, the brown tones, guys, such a vibe. I actually mentioned that the brown trend would be really popular um, in my recent Q&A. We were talking about like fashion trends and things that I was looking forward to. And I really like the idea of this brown colour coming in for spring, summer and transitioning really well. So I wanted to pick out some tops. I actually don't own many tops that just go with everything. So I was really happy when I saw this piece here, which is a beautiful little crop top. I don't really own crop tops, guys. But what I loved about this piece was how simple it was, the long sleeved, high neck situation like it's not revealing too much because i really don't like when crop tops kind of show off everything and you've got not much to work with you could keep this so casual and pair this with some joggers and your trainers and get out on a walk or you could style it up how i've kind of paired this look today and it's with this really cute skirt which i know you guys are going to absolutely love um this oh my gosh this is such a vibe like i can imagine this on a like tiktok girl i can imagine this look being worn by bella hadid like something like that kendall jenner you've got like this like model of duty vibe the mini skirt is so bang on trend right now the little a-line situation um gold jewelry how i've got it now you could do this look in spring with like bare legs and your boots or you could just wrap it up for winter add a coat add some tights add a hat and scarf and gloves and you are literally like ready to go these sorts of pieces are going to stabilize your wardrobe like i said so absolutely adore the color palette they're going on i cannot wait to try this on guys let's get straight into trying it on because i know you guys are gonna love it so guys this is what the look comes together to look like i just want to quickly show you how unreal the back of this top is it's just got a slightly higher back um than the front and what i love is the little tie bit here but it also enables you to wear a bra girl so don't fear um my bra has been tucked away quite nicely um i really really like this top it's definitely far more playful than stuff that i normally wear so this is a really nice piece and i'm just loving all the nudes and the neutrals going on and then i've just to put this on just to show you the boots um i've got the boots here i probably would go for a nude boot instead but i just wanted to show you what the boots look like on they are so flipping comfy guys i think overall i'd probably do a lighter shoe just to kind of keep the neutrals going but i absolutely adore this look it's so fun it feels so 60s and just so me so absolutely in love to show you the outfit with um a different pair of boots i've got the simple more chunky um boot there with the buckle i think this is really really cool i feel like this might actually go just a little bit better if you are going to opt for a black heel um i feel like i want to pair it with the coat as well so um i'm going to show you guys the coats later on in the haul and i'll be showing you it in this outfit so fear not if you're wondering how to sell the coats as well but i really like this outfit even more with these boots so i feel like these boots are a real winner so it wouldn't be a lockdown 2021 haul if i didn't feature a bit of uh, loungewear so i have a loungewear set which i know you're going to adore like, just imagine working from home in your little cute co-ord set it's just going to make you feel so confident so i've actually ended up going for this really cute knitted jumper 
this is just so cute and again you could separate this you could pair this with jeans for a walk you could um put it over a skirt like the mini skirt we've got here or the coated trousers this is a really versatile piece but then what i really love about this is the matching wide leg trouser like oh my gosh i really hope you can see me and see it but those wide legs like how beautiful this is just going to be the perfect um two-piece kind of vibe really simple really stripped back something that you can wear a few times in the week and nobody's really going to notice or care like it's for you it's comfortable it's just ideal i love it so much and i feel like you guys will too so i'm going to try it on and show you how i'm styling it up for working from home i think comfort is key here guys um and this co-ord does not disappoint but this is what the loungewear piece looks like on it's so flattering i love the co-ord trousers i feel like you could definitely wear and mix and match both options top and bottom so versatile really loving the comfort of this piece very snuggly and cozy so it's ideal for being at home and just sitting at your computer at your desk working away but still feeling cute so this is what it looks like on i absolutely love it so moving on to a trend which i'm really really digging at the moment and i feel like the grungy alice is coming back as soon as i cut my hair off guys i've gone super grunge like i've got a band tee on or like the version of a band tee that I quite like. So I have a dress which I feel like is going to pair so nicely with all these boots that are bang on trend at the moment and actually Quiz have so many of them at an affordable price. So, so all the chunky boots that you guys know and love, I'm gonna pop some pictures on the screen right here of the kind of shoes I'm talking about. Um, the ones that you're seeing on all the bloggers, all the um, influencers, these shoes are going to pair so nicely with this dress and the reason why i've kind of got this combo together is because the shoes at quiz are like the best quality and they have them available so what i have here is this beautiful black and white um v-neck dress i love the sleeves there's a little bit of ballooning going on it's that lovely thick quality fabric um i can't really remember what this fabric is called but you know when it's like slightly woven um, I really really like it and I'm always really happy with the quality of quiz clothing pieces I had to mention it because it is that kind of grungy girl next door vibe like wants to wear a cute dress But she wants to also wear her boots like this is a vibe So let's try this on let's see how this looks I feel like you guys are gonna vibe it just as much as I am So let's see what it looks like on guys. So I have this cute black dress on I'm so vibing it right now. It's really flattering at the top here makes your boobs look quite big i'm not gonna lie gals if that's what you're looking for because you've got that v-neck situation it's so flattering um and then it just kind of spills out into a little um asymmetric mini dress number i love it so much it's got little peplum sleeves going on and then i've paired it with the chunky um on trend boots which everybody is wearing right now um my poor calves can just about fit in them i have quite naturally big calves they're quite hench guys so um it took a little bit of time to get in the boot but not to worry it was actually fairly easy um i've had worse boots before so yeah really like this outfit overall i think the boots are wicked this is what i meant by like grungy um but also girly um vibes going on really cute love it now it wouldn't be a quiz clothing haul if i didn't feature some coats again i'm really impressed with the quality at quiz clothing for their coats so the first coat we've got here something that i don't own i cannot believe i do not own one of these but this is a crop puffer i don't even own a normal puffer jacket guys like can you believe that furs yes knitted yes trench coats yeah like tick 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 i do not own any padded coats so i was like wow alice get yourself a puffer tis the season for the puffer jacket it's just gonna look so cute on your winter walks like the little crop situation it looks like you've made an effort when you haven't like pair this how you will you can go up or down in terms of your bougie level but this is just gonna make you see you later like you're, you're gonna look like so cool on the streets okay i really hope i'm convincing you to get this piece and twin like me because it is such a nice versatile item to have 
and it's going to be nice in those more springy days where there's a bit of a nip in the air but you don't want to look like one of those people that's gone a bit ott with a coat do you know what i mean but it's still quite light so you're not having to lug something around if it does get warm it's that kind of transitional coat that's just ideal um but yeah really really love this piece absolutely obsessed um i cannot believe i didn't own one before Guys, can we just take a minute for how vibey this coat is? I'm in love. This is what I mean when I say a cute cropped jacket is going to work wonders for an outfit like this one. If you are going to be wearing something with um, a need to accentuate the waist, you are going to want a cropped coat. This is going to bring everything in, draw in those angles, those curves, girl, like work it. OMG, what a vibe. Um, you can dress it up for like a look like this or you could just literally go out in trackies. I do not mind. I feel like this whole look is versatile enough, but the jacket just does so much. I love it so much. Um, I can't get enough of it. This is probably my favourite haul from Quiz to date, I think. Um, every single piece has been winning. How vibey. I'm just like... It's a whole new Alice. Moving on, guys. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Where do I even start with the quality of this coat? Oh my goodness. This is Dead Husband Inheritance Fund receiving the money, pretending to grieve. Like, this is the coat. This is the coat. Um, and I'm not even mad about it. Like, it is so thick. It's like a big um grizzly bear, except it's faux, so we don't have to worry about the bears. There's no bears harmed. Um, for this beautiful coat it's synthetic like you would not even be able to tell and that's what I love about fashion brands these days they are not compromising on their ethics they basically just have the best stuff so I'm gonna hold it here I hope you guys are seeing what I look like wearing this coat it's a vibe guys it's so cute and soft I can't stop stroking it I need to actually stop but this is going to be so nice to pair over like a dress, more bougie outfits. If you just want to feel a bit more bougie on your country walks, like I get you, I get you boo. Um, and it's silk lined, like it's got this silky inner bit here. So it's going to keep you warm. It's going to look bougie if it kind of like flicks out, like if your coat flicks out. It still looks nice inside. So just to give you a little bit of an overview, it does hit just below the knee. So it's a very cosy coat. I will say though, I did mention on the blue coat, but not the black one, because I didn't notice. Um, but this coat also does not have buttons. So just bear that in mind. If you are thinking about wearing something like this and you want something to do up, it's not going to. There are no buttons. So um, yeah. From what I can feel yeah there's no buttons I just had to double check um but yeah super cozy really really chic I hope you guys can see maybe if I get like really close you guys can see like the quality of the coat here but I just love it I feel really really bougie sorry guys I am off to collect my inheritance good day <laughs> in the UK we get cold until like March early April like it is freezing here we need something that kind of screams spring but is still warm so i opted for this beautiful pastel blue again super soft it's as soft as this black one here like oh my goodness guys it's got these beautiful like waterfall lapels it's not got any buttons though so this is like a full-on um open coat this isn't something that you're gonna wrap up warm in this is just something you kind of like throw on and cozy up in yourself um if you did want to kind of bring it together you could always use like a cute belt something like that it's gonna like hold it all together but i really like this piece it's very long it's not as long as the black one but it's still cute nonetheless and um, it's a great addition to my coat collection something that i will be styling up a lot in spring hopefully guys i will be able to get out and take pictures let's hope very happy with this item I cannot wait to wear it and style it up guys um just an essential really like you need something that's going to be a bit lighter fresher and um, a bit more colorful for springtime so had to mention this this is the final coat that i'm just going to show you i adore it so much I feel so chic. I feel a bit like Suki Waterhouse. I remember she did a cover for, I believe, I want to say 
suitcase magazine, I could be wrong, um, but I just remember this picture, maybe it's even just a pap shot, I'm not sure, but um, this is such a Suki Waterhouse vibe, but, um, I just feel like this is something that she would definitely style up, and she would definitely wear with a 60s skirt, so really adore this piece, it's so cosy, I don't want to take it off, it's super warm, and um, yeah, just to give you an idea for size, again, just hits maybe ever so slightly higher than the black just above the kneecap there but very cozy nonetheless so really can't wait to get a proper wear out of this again it's a winning coat i just <laughs> the collection is growing please forgive me on this but i have a lot of shoes to go through i was kind of umming and ahhing as to how like i've got so many i can lean on them um I was umming and ahhing as to how I was going to show you these, but I think it's kind of easier if I just show them kind of in the box and then hopefully you guys are going to see a visual of me in the shoes as well. The first pair of shoes, oh wow, okay, you guys are going to vibe with this. So I kind of tried to take as much off as possible in terms of the little packaging. I might just rip this off. You guys can actually see the shoe. We've got ourselves this really cute chunky boot. How cute is this? I love the buckle. I love the chunky sole at the front. It's not got too much of a slant down, so it's not gonna be uncomfortable. This is like a badass shoe. And I really liked the crisscross buckle detailing. It's got a zip on the side there, so it's really easy to get in and out of the shoe. And this is just gonna be a lovely, versatile item to have. I love it. So moving on to the next pair of shoes. The reason I want to mention these shoes is because I've owned them already in a crocodile kind of colour. I featured them before on a previous quiz haul and you know when you find a shoe that literally changes your life that you have to get it in like every style? This is the one. If you enjoy a straight toed boot then go for these. They're so comfortable. They're beyond comfortable actually. I never find an issue with them. I was kind of walking around London uh, when we could do that. I was walking around London in them like all day long. I had no issues whatsoever. If you're trying to go for something new, maybe try a square toe. Like you might be surprised at how visually aesthetically pleasing it is like i really enjoy it on my frame and my body so um you might enjoy it too it's very flattering now moving on to a trend boot the boot that i said was going to go with the black and white dress it's going to go with like the skirt it's just a vibe like i cannot deal um guys are you ready for this they're huge and they're chunky and oh my god i love them so much like how insane are these boots like i feel like i'm in the matrix with these like these look so cool do you know what i love about them as well you'd expect them to be really heavy but they are so light um so they're not going to weigh your feet down my huns like don't you worry that's always a concern because i know docks are really 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 heavy on the feet you get blisters it's horribly painful this is just not going to be the case i don't think obviously i need to like actually get some wear out of them before i make sweeping statements but um, I can already tell it's not going to be an issue. Like the um, the material feels flexible, you know. So it's got a nice little tie up front there. Really, really cute, chunky situation. It's got the little like tab at the back. It's very dock inspired. And then we've got a zip down the side. So there is no fuss with this shoe. Like straight in, straight out. Perfect ideal for a country walk so i think this is going to be so cool to style up continuing on with the black boot thing that i've got going on here like i've got a real problem with black boots i'm kind of addicted um i realized i didn't have any country boots and that's a surprise considering i'm literally obsessed with everything nashville everything southern america i love it so much these boots are gonna give you that southern bell kick it's a little crocodile country boot look at these the pointed toe we've got the slanted heel here this is very traditional of a country boot but we've also got this kind of stretchy sock material here this is very chelsea boot kind of vibe so it's a bit of a hybrid um but i like it i think this is going to work so well with the pieces that i have here um i can really imagine it actually with the christina aguilera look um it kind of gives me um what's that song by little mix they actually shot that music video in nashville it's called no more sad songs um yeah that kind of vibe like 
dressed up like really bougie but also country inspired so really really like this shoe again i've owned the crocodile before in the square toe boots so i know they look great and they last and they they feel fabulous on so i just wanted to go for a new style absolutely love those and um another great addition to the ever-growing shoe collection then i decided to pick out some trainers because you can never again have too many white trainers these trainers are going to be so nice for when it gets a bit less wet and groggy like i will not be taking these shoes out on a muddy walk hell no these are for um keeping things smart and slick but pairing with like a nice pair of jeans i feel like white trainers do the most um, and I really liked the style of these. So it's got this kind of neutral toned, almost, um, I want to say like blush pink, a blush pink um, snake skin situation here and then a little blush pink back there. But it's just your traditional kind of, I think it's a tennis shoe. I could be really wrong. Like I'm not really a trainer um, enthusiast. I don't really know, but um, they're a white pair of trainers, guys some color detailing i think they're fabulous they're going to be so nice to pair with um just anything really in your wardrobe like, if you're looking for like basic trainers perfect place to get them so the last two pair of shoes that i have in my shoe section of this video i can't believe i've got a whole dedicated shoe section it's a bit excessive um considering we're not really going out anywhere but um i was kind of going through my my shoe collection and i realized that i didn't really have many basic heels i had a lot of like colors and statement shoes chunky boots like i realized all my clubbing shoes not that i'm going clubbing like who the hell who am i kidding um my all my clubbing shoes i just had to throw out because they were like really old and just well worn and just not what i need in my life anymore and they've lasted ages so um it was kind of like time for a fresh new era a new alice ready for when we can go back out to bars and clubs so i decided to go for two lots of nude heels these i actually already own in a diamante style and guys i am obsessed with the comfort of these shoes so it's a really simple perspex nude heel with um just a nude back there it's so cute and so slick jeans and a nice top done cute dress done you just you just want something that's going to be less is more and not less is more in in the literal term but also in the literal term like sometimes when you have something so simple like this it just looks so classy and i really enjoy um wearing these i find them very very comfortable so um just wanted to add the basic ones the ones without the diamantes to my collection i decided to keep the kind of perspex vibe going the neutrals vibe going and i wanted to go for a cute little open back heel this is just like a slide on kind of slipper shoe it's got a square toe so vibey so current and a really lovely slick heel there this is really lovely um again i can imagine going with literally everything in this haul just wanted something <laughs> something that screamed easy shoe to wear to slip on if i'm gonna go meet the gals like this is just the perfect shoe and again really easy lightweight like i'm literally thinking and imagining i'm dreaming of traveling and being able to throw shoes in a bag for a weekend with my friends like oh my gosh i miss it so much guys maybe i'm just like reminiscing too hard um i need to get a life i really do but I guess I can just dream for now with this beautiful little slipper. So yeah, if you're looking for new shoes for your nights out that you're not going on, then get yourself a pair of these. They're great, they're fab. Um, and hopefully you guys are seeing me wearing them here. So yeah, really, really like these. So that is absolutely everything for today's haul. I really hope you like the pieces that I selected. You got a bit of inspiration, maybe even caught the online shopping bug. I'm sorry um, in advance if it's damaged your bank balance, but I had to share it, I had to show you, and just get really excited about fashion again, guys. We've got new things coming in. We're gonna be feeling the 2021 vibes and staying positive 
for all of us fingers crossed it's going to be an amazing year and um you know we can get to wear our cute shoes our cute dresses and um just enjoy clothes and fashion again how we're supposed to so if you've enjoyed this video please do go ahead give it a like subscribe i will see you in my next one guys stay safe stay sweet Mwah.